A decades old cold case has a resolution after 84 year old Raymond Van Evenhoven was found guilty of murder in the 1976 deaths of a Green Bay couple. NBC 26's Kelsey Dickinson was in the courtroom when the verdict was handed down. We, the jury, find the defendant, Raymond L. Van Evenhoven, guilty of first degree murder. An emotional day in the courtroom. I'm relieved, overwhelmingly sad for all three families involved. A jury found Van Evenhoven guilty on two counts of first degree murder for the deaths of 25 year old David Schuldes and his fiance, 24 year old Ellen Matthews, who were shot and killed while camping at McClintock Park in July 1976. Matthews was also sexually assaulted. I feel like we can finally put this to an end. Um, I have family out, out different states and everything. I'm going to be excited to get that phone call. <laughs> DNA evidence collected from Matthew's sexual assault was matched to Van Evenhoven decades later through genetic genealogy, a point of contention during closing arguments. 42 years later, science allowed justice to catch up to Randy Van Evenhoven. There is not a shred of evidence that connects Ray to McClintock Park. <laughs> The jury deliberated for about two hours before delivering the guilty verdict. A lot of relief. My heart is pounding. Although she feels closure, Schulte's sister says justice can be tricky. He took 45 years away from them. 43 of those 45 years he spent going about his business with the freedom to live his life. So is there any amount of equal justice here? No, but we're very happy for this is what's left for them, and we're happy to get it. And forgiveness, harder still. Ellie, she probably would work towards forgiveness before I would, and that's something I'll have to think about. Van Evenhoven's sentencing is scheduled for August 26th. The judge says he plans to use sentencing rules from 1976, since that's when the murders occurred. In Marinette, Kelsey Dickinson, NBC 26.